Hi there, this is my SEX80 uh, wideband vertical antenna. Um, had it about six months. It uh, has proven to be very, very uh, good with FT8. And the purpose of this video though isn't to show it you again because I've already done that. Um, one of my subscribers was interested to know how well it tunes and wanted to see a video on that. So um, I said, yep, no problem. So uh, let's go upstairs and uh, do just that. Okay, so this is the setup. This is my Yaesu uh, FT991 transceiver. Bought it a few months ago. Um, brand new, the, the 991A version of this go for 1,200 quid, 1,300 quid. I got this for about 700 second hand, but in as new condition. Um, that is connected to the SEX80 via my MFJ949E antenna tuner. Um, and that's connected to the antenna for a window jumper, which isn't perfect and changes the impedance slightly, but doesn't, I don't think it makes much of a difference. Um, so the SEX80 is designed to be wideband from 80 down to six meters. Um, the specifications suggest that it needs a manual ATU, uh, 80, 17, 12 and six meter bands, um, but I choose to use a manual ATU across all the bands. And so right now I'm on FT8, 40 meters, um, and I'm transmitting to a Spanish station, trying to complete that QSO unsuccessfully. But if you look at the meter, so here we have uh, 10 watts uh, and almost zero reflected power. So it's pretty well tuned to drift a little bit, but so all is good. So let's stop that and let's, let's stop transmitting. And let's go to 20 meters. Now the 20 meter inductor is J. I just happen to know that. So here we are on 20 meters and let's call CQ on 20. And there you go, still pretty well tuned. Um, in fact, there we go. So there's, right. So we're now tuned 20 meters. We'll let the uh, FT8 Transmit, transmit, cycle through again, uh, which it will do any second now. Uh, there we go. 10 watts, 20 meters. So um, let's halt that again. And let's go to 80 meters. Oh, there we go. Now 80 meters is inductor E. I also just happen to know. Right, so there we go, inductor E, 80 meters. Um, normally the antennas are around about zero and the transmitter set around four, but that might change. So let's call CQ, transmit, and see how it looks. So we've got a little bit of reflected power. But it will tune, it will tune to 80 pretty well. Let's just let it cycle through again. Didn't manage to complete that QSO with that Spanish station. FT8 is great, but on 10 watts, you miss a lot of DX and QSOs. There you go. Ah, uh, touch and go, unless conditions are perfect. So there we go. 80, uh, 80 meters, perfectly tuned antenna. So the other thing to try, I suppose, is six meters. Um, and this is where it, it becomes a bit more touch and go, um, but let's try it. So let's go to, there we go, 50.3 megahertz, six meters. Uh, the inductor for six meters is J, which I just happen to know. So there we go. So we're on J six meters and then wait for it to transmit and i think what we'll have is a not particularly well tuned antenna but we'll see how well i can adjust it all right okay so here we go 
<clears throat> so at the moment it's about 1.3 to 1. And it's not. And so there you go, 1 point or 3 to 1. Just to demonstrate, I'll try an inductor either either side. Um, just to show you. Um, we'll just have one more go on J. So about one point, actually, it's, one, it's about 1.2 to 1. If we go, it's just to adjust the inductor a notch, just to demonstrate. About the same, in fact, not very much in it at all. Uh, Sort of just about 1.2. Um, tried the inductor above, but you can see that it feels like it's on on the limit of where it will tune. Um, but I don't use. I mean, I don't ever use six meters. So for for me personally, it's not an issue. But I think for for other operators, it probably would be. Um, so yeah. So that's about it. So about 1.2 to 1, which isn't brilliant. Um, but tunes perfectly across 80, 40, 20, which is where I operate on uh, on FT8. Um, but I think for the money, performance as a function of cost, um, you know, I, I've been impressed um, with this antenna. You know, I, I uh, it's perfect if you... I haven't got space to put a large setup. Um, you know, for my for my needs, it, it works very very well. So um, uh, so there you go. Um, that is the SEX80 at my shack. Um, I hope that was at least a little bit useful. Okay, well, thanks for watching.